welcome to the session in this session we will discuss about how we can read complete stack trace using file bit so like in this is the other uh, log file I am using so in this log file there are two stack trace are present so we will see how we can read these two stack trace so let's uh, start our session so this is the configuration file file with configuration file I am using and so to re to read the complete stack trace we need to use the multi-line configuration of file bit so this is the multi-line configuration so here in the pattern I am using the date pattern to match with this date and in the negate I am using true and in the match after so what does this means the lines consecutive lines which are match which are not matching this pattern which are not matching this pattern would be appended to the previous line which is matching this pattern so consecutive lines which are not matching the pattern would be appended to the previous line which is matching the pattern so in this way this whole stack trace would be read by the file bit so if you want to read more on how these multi lines configuration works then I already created a video you can check this uh, you know playlist here so this is the latest video on file bit like multi line configuration how multi line configuration works let's start our file bit and see if it is reading correctly or not so I have launched my file bit this is the command to start this is the name of my configuration file so let's see my file bit started it has read the log file so let's see the output of the file bit so output I have used if you see the configuration file in the output I have using console so that's why this out the you know complete log is coming to the console okay so let's see the output of it so so this from here the output starts so this is the bunny event so here what is the message messages we are testing java stack trace so here this is this okay in the next event so the next event starts from here so the output is the output you can see it is this is the message the debug abc dot executing abc abc debug so this and the previous and the next lines till stack trace example dot java 5 till here so this is so so it is clear that file wheat has read the complete stack trace correctly so so whole stack trace is present in the single event okay so what is the next output next event is this and it contains the message where is the message the message this this okay and next event is that would be last one last event this so you can see this message abc dot executing so this again file bit has read the complete stack trace correctly okay so this configuration is working fine this one thing can be asked is why we need to read complete stack trace like so the answer is when we will cre create our application complete application we will index this log into the elastic search okay 
सो ईच इवेंट ईच इवेंट क्रिएट अ वन डॉक्यूमेंट इन टू द इलास्टिक सर्च सो इफ द कंप्लीट स्ट्रेक्ट्रेस इज प्रेजेंट इन द सिंगल डॉक्यूमेंट इट वुड बी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड द एक्सेप्शन राइट दैट्स वाई वी क्रिएट बी रीड कंप्लीट स्ट्रेक्ट्रेस एंड सेंड and and you know index in the same document so corresponding to each event one document is created into the elastic search that we would be that we would see in the coming videos so so this is happening because of this multi line configuration which we discussed already in this particular this in this video we i have ex explained how multi line works please go through this it would be more clear how these properties are working if we were not using the multi line then corresponding to each line one event would be created each line would create a corresponding document into the elastic search we save each line into the separate document then looking at the document of the elastic search we would not able to understand the complete exception that's why we must to save complete stack trace inside the single document so that it looking at this stack stack trace we can understand what is the exception is where it is occurring but if we do not save complete stack trace at one place then just looking at the line it would be difficult to understand complete exception that's why read the complete stack trace and send to the elastic search so right now i am using this console as a output that's why it is coming here on the console in the coming videos i will replace with this you know elastic search so this is how the file we to read the complete stack trace if you have any doubt on this please leave a comment i will have a look and get back to you thanks for watching see you in the next video